forget. Yes, Effendi? Is this the Klaxian Foreign Legion? You know, you've got me there. I wish to join. I want to go home. You did the voice. Now do that job. Who's next? Imp Ikelin. Give them a warm welcome. Glad, Lias, and Imp Ikelin. Get off. If there's a god of musicians, then we need him now. No. No, this isn't right. I didn't save him. There's something else that doesn't want MP Cannon to die. One quattro rodenti with extra newts. Enjoy. <laughs> Wow, dead rat pizza. We sure hit the big time now. This is nothing. We're getting six dollars for playing the mended drum tomorrow. In a couple of weeks, we can pay off our musicians' guild membership, and then we can play where we like. That's if Cleve doesn't find us first. Oh, the guild never goes in the drum. They lose members in there. Their members lose members. You saw what it was like. Hey, buddy, you're not eating? We're not ready to play more gigs. I know we've never rehearsed, but, well, you and that guitar. I never played a gig like that. It's a fine instrument. Ow! It stung me. <sighs> Listen, we're missing something. We need a kind of, a sort of sound like a bang, 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 bang. You mean a keyboard. Do I? They've got one of those new piano fortes just over the river in the opera house. That sort of thing ain't for our kind of music. That sort of thing's for big fat guys and powdered wigs. Put it near buddy. And I tell you, it'll be our kind of music soon enough. But where are we gonna get that kind of money? No one's got that many teeth. I don't mean buy it. Just borrow it for a while. That's stealing. No, it's not. We'll let them have it back when we've finished with it. Oh, that's all right then. Who's going to play it? You get the piano, I'll get the player. <laughs> oh, oh, what is it, Corporal? It's the new recruit, Bone Idol. He won't obey orders. He just keeps saying things like, it's not happening yet. Have you tried burying him up to the neck in sun? That usually works. Oh, surely you don't mean... Well, this is the, uh, the, um, uh, Foreign Legion. Yes, sir. Ooh, uh, ooh, and what's that? Your face, sir. Oh, yeah, thank you, Corporal. <clears throat> A few days in the pit, that'll sort him out. All right, who's doing it? Own up, that man. Doing what, Arch-Chancellor? Tapping their feet. Go on! <laughs> Go on! <laughs> right! Yo! <laughs> oh, <laughs> I can see that! I can hear that! What was it you were trying to do? I was practicing riffs! And what's that? <laughs> Blurt Wheel Down's guitar primer? Play your way to success in three easy lessons. And 18 hard lessons. You! Good yeah. night, Good afternoon. Had enough, eh, soldier? Enough what, Sergeant? Two days in the sun, no food, no water, delirious with thirst and begging to be dug out, eh? Yes, it certainly is very dull. Dull? I'm afraid so. Dull? It's not meant to be dull. It's the pit, is that? Horrible physical and mental torture. After a single day, you're supposed to be a... a, a, um, a raving madman. You're not even groaning. What's wrong with you, man? I can't sit in my office all day with you yawning like this. I can't bear it. Suffer, man! Help, 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 help. And that's a bit better. So this helps people to forget, does it? Forget? People forget everything when they're given the, uh, the, uh... The pit. That's the thing. Hmm. Do you mind if I ask a question? Um, what? 
Could I possibly have another day? Another day? Hang on a minute, so uh, did you hear something just then? No. Oh. <laughs> I could have sworn. <laughs> I'm never going to forget anything at this rate. Well, I've nothing against guitars. Pleasant airs, a spying young maidens one morning in May, and so on. <laughs> but that wasn't playing. I mean, what was it supposed to be? A lick based on an E pentatonic scale using the major seventh as a passing tone. But this says lesson one. Fairy footsteps. Hmm. I was getting a bit impatient. You've never been musical, Dean. It's one of your good points. Now give. Oh, not fair. I oh, this is all the librarian's doing, isn't it? That noise he was playing on a blasted organ last night. Search us. And exactly where did he pick up all this music stuff? We heard that he'd been down the mended drum. Ah. I think they're going to have it again tonight. Uh, we could uh, go along and uh, listen in order to learn more about it, uh, in case it's a threat to society. Oh, uh, that's right, Dean. Uh, it's our civic duty. Mm -hmm. We are the city's first line of supernatural defense. <laughs> Supposing uh, ghastly creatures started coming out of the air. Um, what about it? Well, we'd be there. Yes? That's good, is it? All right, we'll go. But we won't draw attention to ourselves. No, Chancellor. And everyone has to buy their own drinks. No. By the way, where is the librarian? Psst! Excuse me. Are you the librarian? Are you the same virtuoso keyboard playing librarian who was seen last night flying through the air after a 64 foot gravissima organ pipe? <laughs> Tell me, are you a happy ape? Is this how you see the rest of your life? An orangutan in a library stack of books? <laughs> Wouldn't you rather be playing piano in a band? <laughs> Tonight at the Mended Drum. Don't be late. What am I going to do? My first day is death and everything's going wrong. It's a disaster. I think he wants your attention. Look, it's no good pointing that thing at me. I haven't got a clue what to do. Death. What? He's saying, go and see death. How can I go and see death? That's the whole point. I wouldn't be in this mess if he hadn't gone away. Ah, but you got Death's horse. Think he can go anywhere, in any dimension. Including time. So I can go back in time to ask my grandfather's advice. Yes! For a mangy old bag of feathers, you're a genius. Oh, uh. It was his idea. Well, if he thinks I'm giving him a kiss, he can think again. <laughs> Wait here. I'll be back before you know it. Literally. Never! Thus it ends, boy. Mort! My name is Mort. I, I love him, Father. You do? You never said. Be silent! Mother. Father. I invite you into my home. I train you, I feed you, I clothe you. I give you opportunities you could not dream of, and thus you repay me. <sighs> You seduce my daughter from me. 
You neglect the duty, and you make ripples in reality that will take a century to heal. Your ill-timed actions have doomed your comrades to oblivion. The gods will demand nothing less! All in all, boy, not a good start to your first job. You're right! There's no justice. There's just you. Stand aside. No! Mother, you you I never me. knew. I will not! Why did you never tell me? No, I cannot be forced. I will only do that which I know to be right. <gasps> you don't know how sorry this makes me. I might do. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> You'd better come out. I can't talk to you if you're just going to lurk in the dark. Hello? So, where are they? They'll be here, they'll be here. They better be. <laughs> okay, okay. What's he saying? I think it's something like, I promised him fame, I promised him stardom, and what have I given him? A cold back room, no piano, and no peanuts. <laughs> Sorry, we're <really>. late. <laughs> My wall! Do you want us to play or don't you? I'll take it out of your fee. Oh, that's very generous of you. You're on in two minutes. Do you know if they're in the building yet? <laughs> and remember, we are not here to enjoy ourselves. No, no our Chancellor. <laughs> Dean, you look hot, Dean. Oh, I'm lovely and cool, Arch Chancellor, I assure you. Is uh, someone cooking bacon? Smells more like Mrs. Palm's house of negotiable oh. affection to me. <laughs> I, um, I just happened to walk past there once. <laughs> Take it off, Dean. What have you done to your hair? It looks like a duck's ass. Excuse my catching. And what is that stuff? Um... Lard. What the disc do you think you're playing at? Some of us happen to think it's a rather nifty hairstyle, thank you very much. Your trouble, Arch Chancellor, is that you don't understand people of our age. Ye gods, man! You're seven months older than me! If I get rich, I want a big black coach with liver on it. Livery. That too. What do you want, buddy? When I left Lamedos, I swore I'd be the most famous musician in the world. That's a dangerous kind of swear, that is. Isn't it what every artist wants? In my experience, what every true artist wants, really wants, is to be paid. Oh, Cleve, how wonderful to see you. <laughs> ah, Mr. Lemon. It's not often we see the... Uh, Musicians killed in the Men of Drum. It's no often you have musicians providing the entertainment. <laughs> musicians? <laughs> entertainment? Musicians who haven't paid their guild membership. Musicians who will be offering their talents for one night only. <laughs> well, well, well. You have a lot of your mother about you. And your father. How do you know who I am? I have a unique memory. You can't remember me. I haven't even been conceived. I did say unique. Your name is... Susan. But... Susan. They really wanted to make sure, didn't they? Yes, but... Tell me, was I... Will I be... Am I a good grandfather? If I tell you, won't that be a paradox? Not for us. Well, you've got bony knees. You came back in time to tell me that? No, you've gone missing in the future. And you're having to do the duty, I see. No, you don't. 
Uh, interesting. What's it mean, Grandad? Grandad. Grandfather I can live with, but Grandad. You'll be calling me Gramps next. Grandfather. I need to know. Whoever he is, he has no life. He has only music. Music? Rhythm in his soul, literally. You mean music has taken him over? You could put it like that. Making his life longer? Human life is extendable, but he is not human. He is music. He played a guitar. An old guitar? Yes, I don't know. Fascinating. What? Well, nothing important. Just a piece of mythological debris. Debris? It's a parasite. It'll kill him. He'll be dead in a few days. That's terrible. Are you romantically involved with this young man? What? No. I've only seen him once. Across a crowded room. No. Don't get involved, child. You can't change anything. You did. I just saw you. My parents. I may have allowed myself a flicker of emotion. I can give it up any time I like. Why shouldn't you change things if you can make the world a better place? I should never have adopted your mother. You're scared. Scared to change the world. You say that to me? You prattle on about changing the world? Could you find the courage to accept it? To know what must be done and to do it whatever the cost? There is what is and what will be. If you change the fate on one individual, you change the world. And you, you carry the responsibility for the change. And that is always too heavy to bear. That's just an excuse. When it comes down to it, Susan, who are you? A deputy? A girl in a school nightdress? What do you know? What can you do? You were saying? I'll see you in another dimension. Susan! What? Really? Bony knees? Yes! Right, you're on. Uh, what are you calling yourselves? Cliff, Buddy, Claude and the Librarian. No, no, you have to have one name for all of you. Be ration then. Something like the Merry Troubadours, maybe. <gasps> Glod and the Glodettes. Oh, yes. How about Cliff and the Cliffettes? <laughs> no, we need a different type of name. Like the music. How about Gold? Good dwarf name. <gasps> Silver, then. I don't think we should name ourselves after any kind of heavy metal, Glod. Come on, come on. The guitar special. How about the band with Buddy's guitar in it? <laughs> the band with rocks in. I like it. Short and slightly dirty, just like me. <laughs>
you're not elvish. But, uh, but, uh, are you all right? Buddy, what were you doing out there? Huh? And how come we all knew what to play? I don't know what's happening. I say we throw that thing in the river. The trouble is, they did love us out there. Here's your beers. Drink up and get out. What about our fee? Have you seen the carnage out there? You owe me fifty dollars for repairs. Business is the game. Dibbler's the name. C M O T Dibbler. <laughs> I, uh, I dare say you've uh, heard of me. No. Cut me on throat, Dibbler. I do business, you play music. You don't want to worry your heads about money. <laughs> you can leave that to me. Can you get us paid? We owe Hibiscus $50 for the furniture. <laughs> the drum gets wrecked every night. Hibiscus was trying it on. Look, I'll, I'll, I'll sort it. <laughs> It's a jungle out there. You need someone like me to protect you from people like him. All you have to do is sign. Uh, right here. <laughs> what about you, boys? <laughs> Have you got a pen? <laughs> Why, <laughs> my wheels! <laughs> well, I'm not going to stand aside and do nothing. The bad can die young and the good will be spared. I'm going to save lives. I want the book of Imp Ekelin. You'll be dead in a few days. Grandad's right. The music is playing him. But why? What does it want? It'll kill him. Why does it keep saving his life? Are you romantically involved? The thing is, how can I kill it and keep him alive? <laughs>